So we have a question from Len who asks, what would happen if the Earth stopped spinning? It's a really good question and it's really interesting because it depends how quickly the Earth were to stop spinning. Because although you might not realise it, you're actually travelling really, really quickly at the moment. The Earth's spinning on its axis, which means that in the course of one whole day we go all the way around the Earth. So you're probably moving at something like a thousand miles per hour at the moment just as the Earth spins, but you don't really feel it. Now, if you think about when you're on your bike and you're going really quickly, and you slam the brakes on very quickly, it's really hard to not fall off the bike and fall forwards, isn't it? Your body tries to keep moving when the bike stops. So you can imagine if the Earth were to stop spinning, something strange happened and it stopped spinning suddenly, instantly. Well, we'd still be moving at a thousand miles per hour and everybody would crash into things at a thousand miles per hour and it would be really, really bad. But there's no way we know of that the Earth could stop spinning like that. There is no force we can imagine that could apply the brakes to the Earth and just stop the Earth suddenly. What we do know, though, is that the Earth is very gradually slowing down in its spin. As the Moon goes around the Earth and the Earth spins, the Moon raises tides on the Earth. We get high tide and low tide at the ocean. And those tides, over millions and millions of years, act like the brake blocks on the wheel of your bicycle they slowly cause the Earth to slow down in its spin. So when the dinosaurs walked the Earth, the length of the day was shorter by a few hours than it is today. What that means is, over millions and billions of years into the future, the Earth will slow down, although it probably won't ever stop spinning. But let's imagine for a minute that it did do. It slowed down and eventually stopped. Now we think there are planets like this orbiting other stars that essentially don't spin. They spin very slowly at the same speed they go around the star. So they always keep one face of the planet towards the star and one face pointing away. In fact, when you look at the moon in the night sky, the moon does the same thing. The moon always keeps the same face pointed towards the Earth as it spins on its axis once per orbit. And that's the most likely end point that the Earth would finish up at. If that happened, the Earth would be spinning, but very, very slowly. One day would take one year to complete. What that would mean is that if you were on one side of the Earth where it was daytime, it would always be daytime. The sun would never set, it would always sit in the same place in the sky all the time. On the other side of the Earth, it would always be nighttime, it would always be dark, and it would get very, very cold because you'd be pointed away from the sun. So on the dark side of the Earth, it would be cold, it would be permanently night, and on the day side of the Earth, it would be hot and it would be permanently day. And that would be very, very weird, but that's what would happen if the Earth were to slow down in its spin until eventually it was only spinning once in the time it takes to go around the Sun. It's a really good question.